There are just 18 days left until the all-important Iowa caucuses. The candidates are mapping out their strategies for the final days. When the first votes will be cast, it could pare down the number of Republican hopefuls. Correspondent Whit Johnson is at the White House with the latest developments. Whit, good morning. Russ, good morning to you. Frontrunner Newt Gingrich is taking a couple of days off for family events, telling the New York Times he's, quote, pacing. In his absence during this crucial campaign stretch, other candidates are looking to steal some momentum. Heading into the weekend, most Republican candidates jockeyed for FaceTime with Iowa voters. Okay, that'd be great. Not Newt Gingrich, who's still the national frontrunner, but faces a confident Mitt Romney not far behind. I vetoed that bill. After another solid debate performance, Romney picked up a key endorsement Friday from South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. He's already a leader that knows what he wants to do the first day that he gets into office, and he's ready to do it. Governor Haley could earn Romney a second look from some reluctant members of the Tea Party. I respect your governor. She stands strong and tall. She stands for something. She has worked hard as the leader of this state. A lot of us stood in line at her door hoping to win her endorsement. South Carolina will be the third state to vote on the Republican field. It's also where Romney finished fourth in his 2008 primary and where Newt Gingrich leads Romney by 19 points in a recent poll. Romney has eased off on his Gingrich attacks in recent days, instead leaving that up to other candidates like Ron Paul and Michelle Bachman. I'm not a convenient conservative where I'm espousing and co-opting the language of conservatives or the Tea Partiers. I, I have lived this life and I think everyone realizes that I'm the genuine article. And all eyes will be on the Des Moines Register, an Iowa newspaper which will endorse a Republican candidate later this evening. Some question the strength of that endorsement, but it did go to John McCain the last time around. Russ. Okay, with Johnson at the White House. Thank you very much. And joining us now is political commentator and correspondent for The Nation magazine, Ari Melber, and Amy Holmes, a speechwriter for former Senate Majority Leader Bill Frist. She's an anchor of GBTV's The Blaze. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Newt Gingrich got that swagger thing going on, not even campaigning in, in Iowa this weekend. What do you think, Amy? Is that overconfidence on his part? I don't think it's overconfidence. I think it's strategic. And we discussed before that one of Newt Gingrich's liabilities going into Iowa is lack of money, lack of organization. So he needs to raise that money, get those dollars, so that he can control his message. Because re remember, Mitt Romney has a pretty fat checkbook, and he can write those checks to put up those ads. And Newt Gingrich can't just rely on all this great earned media he's getting. He needs to be able to control and shape his message to those Iowa uh, GOP primary voters. Ari, if you look at the polls right now in Iowa, it, it, it's, it's, it's Gingrich, it's Romney, it's Ron Paul. Let's say Ron Paul pulls out a miracle, only at 9% right now, but comes in second place. Mm -hmm. Could that jumpstart his campaign, or do you think he would only be an Iowa phenomenon in that respect. Well, I think Ron Paul has a very strong base that he's building. Uh, he's on the front page of the New York Times today talking about how strong his field operation is. Uh, and in Iowa, of course, people say they've heard more from his campaign than any other. Um, you can ask Hillary Clinton whether losing uh, these kind of presidential races still allows you to have influence. I think he's more in that category, someone who has a following uh, and will be heard, but is unlikely to ultimately get the nomination. Nikki, how important is that, I'm sorry, Amy, how, how important is that Nikki Haley endorsement? I think that that was very good for Mitt Romney, mm -hmm. that of course where he has sort of been stumbling, if you want to say that, is getting winning the hearts and minds of conservatives and Nikki Haley, she's a rising star in the GOP, but also among conservatives. He gets that imprimatur. It's also geographic. He gets the South Carolina connection there for Northeastern uh, politician to be able to have some resonance in the South, of course, is very important. When it comes down to, to it, Ari, how important are these endorsements in general? As Wood pointed out, the Des Moines Register is going to endorse someone tonight. How important is that in the big picture? I don't think they matter as much anymore unless your endorsement specifically gives you something you did not have. So for Mitt Romney, we know that he's taken seriously. We know he's run a business. We know there is a part of the establishment behind him. So I don't think more establishment figures and governors getting behind him does a lot. If there are grassroots leaders, if Glenn Beck endorsed Mitt Romney, I do think that would have an impact because a lot of people would go, wait a minute, I, I thought he wasn't down with mm. the grassroots leaders. But when governors do, I, I just don't think in today's day and age it matters the same way. But I do think that governors, they have the ability to put the party behind that candidate, the machine, getting those voters out, that organization. I don't think that newspaper endorsements matter so much. I mean, just with the proliferation of the Internet, mm -hmm. that people are reading about the candidates on blog sites and opinion columns and so forth. National Review, of course, just came out with their editorial about mm -hmm. Newt Gingrich, but people are getting information 
information from so many sources shaping their opinions. But I think that very practical campaign, uh, that, uh, that that material can be very important to a politician. Mm. Okay, good stuff as always. Amy thank Holmes, you. Ari Melper, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. It.